Hi everybody, all my followers, uh, welcome to another video. So this video today is on a 2007 Smart 2. The chassis is the 451 and the engine on this is the 999, so uh, one liter petrol. I've been working on this car yesterday for about a few hours. Uh, so the, the problem with the car, when I first got the car here, is that it did not engage reverse. So it would engage forward and would drive absolutely fine, uh, but would not engage reverse. The only way to engage reverse, I find out later, was if I would move really quick from first gear, so from that position in there, if I would move really quick to reverse, it would engage reverse. Otherwise, the reverse would engage. If I would come to neutral, and then leave a couple seconds and try to put reverse the reverse would not engage and a few seconds later the N would start to flash so my code was the following so that was my code uh, which was pointing for my M18 component M18 is my clutch actuator so I'm using some footage from yesterday. I did about half an hour recording uh, to try to repair the problem, but then in the end, I find out something, which I will I'll take you through in a second, uh, and I'm just scrapping all that footage. Anyway, so that was my code. Um, from there, guys, um, I've tried to do uh, teach in, uh, teach the clutch, uh, teach the drag point and the drag point would fail every single time I was trying to do it um, so I ended up by removing the the actuator open it clean it uh, lubricate everything put everything back on and put it back on the car as you most likely have seen now by the pictures I've just put. So, uh, nothing would work, absolutely nothing. Uh, I spent about three hours in total and the car would still not learn in the teach in and would still fail to engage gear and reverse unless, like I said, I would move it really quick from first to reverse. Um, I got here this morning uh, because just to show you to start to record again and unless it's gonna act now so first neutral and now he's engaging the bloody gears which is a little bit disappointing because last night when I first when I've ended working on this car was not engaging reverse and it is the way they now which is a little bit annoying but Last night I did a quick search after spending these three hours on the car and I find out that this is a common issue and Mercedes or Smart actually released um, a software update for the TCU in order to resolve this issue. It's something to do with the, the fact that the clutch actuator goes out of range when it goes to the opening Point. So when he opens the clutch, or when he engages the clutch, he goes out of range. And I don't know why he still is engaging first gear and no reverse. Once again, it might be on the software, but apparently uh, that's the problem. And there is a release, there is a, uh, a software release for this car to resolve that issue. So right now, as you've seen, is engaging in reverse. So it's been in neutral now for a few for a few seconds. If I put reverse, he engages fine. Uh, he did it once this morning when I first uh, got here before I start to record. Let me try to restart the engine, see if he does at least once. Would be nice to to show you. Bruh, right. he's engaging every single time now. But he was not doing it yesterday. But what we're gonna do? Peace of mind. Uh, what, what I'll do guys actually is I'm gonna put some footage right here now to show you what I was doing yesterday Start the engine and we will see what happens 
Okay, so let's try to engage reverse and see if he engages or if he does what I seen last time. And he's actually doing it. So I put reverse. There we go. He does that. So as you can see, reverse is engaged. And that starts the flash. And now if I put into neutral, stops flashing. But now it doesn't engage gear. Look. Now he's in gear. It doesn't engage gear anymore as you can see so the only way to engage gear now is if I turn the engine oh, actually is if I turn the engine off turn the engine back on and now if I engage gear it engages immediately okay and now it drives absolutely fine if I try to engage reverse from here reverse starts the flash and that's it so there we go guys that was that that was what it was doing would not engage reverse <clears throat> and I'm sure it didn't fix itself uh, overnight so uh, what I'm going to do now guys is we're gonna try to flash the TCU uh, so yeah that's that's what we're gonna do okay so computer is put up let's see we can get this sorted so as I said I'm not gonna take the risk I'm gonna try to flash the, the module uh, because like I said was acting last night and I don't believe that fixed itself overnight so the battery is on charge as you can see uh, do it by control unit that way it loads all the details we don't need to input anything as you can see is in is on charge 13 volts that's good I can't believe he's not doing it now. Okay, so let's gonna go down to systems. Let's go to TCU or shift control module. Let's see if we still have any fault codes from yesterday. No, we don't. Uh, so let's see the control unit version. Okay, so that's my coding, F9, blah, blah, my software number, 451446895. Let's go back. Let's go down to control unit adaptations with the soft touch. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go to program control unit. Okay, I want to do it offline. And I'm going to have two versions of uh, flash files. I'm going to have the one that's on the CD, which is actually a virtual drive. A virtual drive uh, I know that one is good I believe um, and I have one that's on actually CD there we go on the hard drive I'm gonna try the hard drive one is the latest one that one is a 2014 let's see if the if that one is good if he has what I need let's 
Okay, so let's gonna go try the other one. I will save you the weight. Okay, so here we are. So that's my module. My current software version, as we've seen earlier on the ECU details. 995, and that's my new version. Press yes. Reason for control unit uh, programming. Uh, let's say... Hold on. Clutch. Clutch what? Okay, that's what I'm going to put down because that uh, was one of the things that I couldn't get done. Let's see if it accepts it. As you've seen uh, on the previous screen, uh, about three minutes to program. So I could probably get away without the battery charger, but you don't want to take the risk. Okay. And flashing is started. And as you can see in there, my N just disappeared from the screen. Obviously the TCU goes offline. So let me read through this. Okay guys, sorry for uh, having skipped a little bit. Uh, after that, at the end, you can just uh, skip the, S the SC encoding. Uh, you only need that if you have changed anything on ECU, any options or 
anything like that otherwise you can just leave the same um, the same uh, SMC coding so from there uh, you just come back uh, to the main screen again so this screen uh, here okay which is your main screen and now we need to relearn everything again so we're gonna go into actuations uh, I already did the clutch so now we're gonna do the transmission and we're gonna teach in the transmission and yes and what uh, he's gonna do is gonna teach the angle of both motors uh, while he does this you will have your three uh, bars blinking there and once it's finished the gearbox is in neutral once it's finished it should return the N in the cluster so it was learned successfully and there is my end back in there and we should be ready to go let me come out of here and we'll try the car it's asking to turn ignition off okay guys and it's finished all done engine is running uh, I have neutral as you can see is there now for for about 30 seconds now but I'll leave a little bit longer and let's try to engage reverse from the neutral uh, position and there we go so I know at the start of the video was doing it already but as you have seen from that clip from yesterday it was not engaging gear doesn't matter what unless like I said I would move really quick from the first gear like this it would engage gear uh, reverse otherwise if I'll come to neutral like that and would engage gear again it would fail but now as you can see it's working fine so it, wo it was working fine in the morning uh, as, as I've showed at the start of the video but because I've learned that was a software update for this module uh, in order to resolve this issue I had to do it I couldn't send the car just in the hope that wouldn't happen again uh, so now I'm confident that we resolve the issue and uh, and uh, hopefully you guys have learned something uh, and I think that's it for this video really guys um, so yeah hope there's some information on this video guys are gonna find it useful if you do still have any questions any comments please 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 put them below uh, don't forget to check my patreon and well and like always guys thank you for watching